Okay, this is really fun. So I brought some of this freeze-dried mock pineapple, it's actually zucchini, down to the classroom for my students to do a writing activity with. And when they found out we had a freeze dryer and this was actually zucchini, asked if I would make them some freeze-dried candy and I said, of course. Okay, this is the selection of candy that we're gonna put in the freeze dryer. I know some of the candies like these peach rings have to be cut up and others just have to be spread farther apart than you might think. So we're gonna try some of these wild berry Skittles. I'm just gonna pour them on the tray. My daughter did some and discovered- It's best to use parchment paper with some of the items because they got really sticky. So I do wanna space them apart because they do they blow up a bit. Have... So I've tried to give them plenty of space on the tray. Cause you'll see when they come out, they do get larger. Hoping they don't stick together. We're also gonna try some of these junior mints. <laughs> I don't know how large these will get, but since they're quite a bit bigger than the Skittles, I gave them a little bit more room between them. We're also gonna try Starburst. And I've got little helpers here, lining them up very nicely. I'm not sure how much room they're going to take, so we're just giving them some, spacing them out kind of, kind of far apart, but not real far apart. So we'll see how the Starbursts do at this spacing. All right, Jolly Ranchers are next. These are the Jolly Ranchers. I don't know if she did these or not, so I don't know what they look like, but I could imagine they could get quite large. They, they might not be spaced far enough apart. We'll see. This might just be a bubble of mess. I don't know. My daughter just popped in and she said, I've got to cut the Jolly Ranchers at least in half, preferably thirds. I cut them in half and placed them far apart. And then with the Starburst, I cut those in thirds because she said those might get large too. And then I went ahead and spaced them in hopes that they won't blend together. Airheads are next. I cut these up pretty small. I cut them in eight pieces and then arranged them on the tray pretty far apart. We're gonna give sweet tarts a try. Okay, spacing on these. We're gonna try some Sour Patch Kids. I think these get really big. I'm gonna place these pretty far apart. I think they get about four times as big. When I look at pictures that people have done, that's what it appears to be. So I'm just gonna put like, maybe I'll put them this way. Maybe three across. That still might be too close together, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna try some of these creamsicle taffies. I'm gonna cut these into about fourths. And I'm gonna space them out pretty far apart. I think they, I think they get pretty big, but I'm not positive. My daughter did do the peach rings and they got pretty puffy. So they're getting cut into four pieces. And then I'm gonna place them pretty far apart as well, just to make sure they have plenty of room to expand if needed. We didn't get either of these on the trays. Trays, they might not look super full, but I, uh, even at this, I'm a little concerned they're gonna end up being all mushed together. That looks really far apart, but I know these things do grow pretty large. We've got the Starburst. Airheads and the Jolly Ranchers, Sour Patch and Sweet Tarts, Junior Mints and Skittles, Taffy and Peach Rings. Okay, ready to load. My granddaughter lined these up beautifully. She's only four, but she thought they needed to be all in their own colors and I'm afraid I'm going to wiggle them loose. We'll check back in in a bit. a skittle before so 
don't send it to Chewy. They're crunchy. I'm gonna have my dad try this. Let's see what he thinks. So these are the Jolly Ranchers. Look how weird. I had cut these in half. It's so sweet. It's almost like styrofoamy or cotton candy -y, fluffy. Very sweet. Ooh. Very cool though. So these are the Starbursts that I cut into thirds, I think. I'm gonna try a pink one. Crunchy. So it turns everything crunchy <laughs> or puffy and styrofoamy. Very sweet. Whoa. These are the airheads. I'm not sure they worked out right, but maybe this is what they're supposed to be. The flavor is really intense. I don't know if it normally is, but it's really sweet and intense. And they're kind of crunchy. When we put them on there, they were kind of bendy. So, everything is really, really sweet though. Taffy. It's more like the Jolly Rancher, like fluffy and airy. Mm. I don't know if it was super sweet before we put it on here, but it's not as sweet as the other ones, which they were too sweet for me. Mm. This is kind of nice. I mean, I wouldn't ever do it on the regular, like never, because I don't eat candy regularly, but this is kind of fun. And then these were the peach rounds or the gummy peachings. When my daughter did these, she did it just in the one piece and they just got giant and weird. So these are fourths, cut in fourths. So these are puffy, like kind of crunchy puffy. Not as puffy and airy as the Jolly Ranchers or the Taffy, but maybe they're not quite done on right. They're a little more chewy. I don't know. These are the Sour Patch Kids. They certainly did not grow big like I saw online. I'm not tasting one of those. Mm, no way. They're, I don't do sour. And then the Sweet Tarts. They're a little larger than they were before we put them in here. Ugh. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. This is just too much. Okay. They're almost the exact same. Oh, they're sour. They're almost the exact same. Maybe a little. Maybe a little softer or something. I don't really know. I'm not sure they that tray really did what it should do. These guys are are bendy, I think, normally, and they, it did break really easy right in half. So, I, I don't know, I'm not gonna try it, but. Round two, we're going to put in the gummy bears and see how they do. Swedish fish, no idea if that's enough room or not. We also have some more Jolly Ranchers on tooth trays, and then those are milk duds. by far my favorite. Wow, those are good. Okay, I gotta try a gummy bear too. Weird. Why airy, just like the um, Jolly Rancher. So weird. 
I'm guessing these are, oh, these are, these are exact same. They're still, they're still flimsy? Weird. Okay, we, we have our winners here. So the gummy bears, I mean, how fun are those? They're bright, they're colorful. They're like eating puffy, crunchy sweetness. They're pretty good. The milk duds, I think these are my favorite. I don't even like milk duds, I think they're nasty. But like this, they're like crunchy and puffy and airy and they're just weird and nice. Uh, the Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> Again, another fun, curl, colorful one. I mean, look at those. That's just, that's just fun. And they're puffy and crunchy and tasty. And then of course the Skittles. The, Sk the Skittles are not chewy at all. They end up being crunchy. Would I do this again? Probably for my students I would, or for my own kids or grandkids or whatever. This is a fun activity, but I really did think it was a waste of time and resource. That candy cost me, it was actually quite expensive. And then the machine cost some money to run. And it's candy. It's not like something that you want to actually put in your body. So this is not something I will do on the regular. I'm trying to lock up here. This is not something I will do on the regular, but um, you gotta try it, right? If you have a freeze dryer, you gotta try it. <laughs>